Welcome to the Jay and Friends Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Slapping it up a little bit. It was under the weather early today, boy. I'm yeah. still fighting. Popping. Yeah. I hear it still. I'm popping alcohol. I'm still sipping their flu, lemon. I'm going to put a honey pack in that business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, still, I still got this bullshit cough. So. Yeah. <clears throat> that shit went from allergies to a fucking full blown cold. You know me, I was talking crazy as hell yeah, exactly. last week. Hey, hey, I can't make it. <laughs> it was just on the wood, boy. Pause. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. God damn, this might be our flu game, dog. <laughs> <Not> facts. <laughs> shit, man, I want to welcome y'all. Welcome to the Jam Friends Podcast featuring episode 214. Uh, listen, before I get started, we both a little bit under the weather, but uh, Nell was out last week. He feeling better. I I, I, I wasn't that bad, <laughs> but, you know, we still going to bring you this good content. So uh, pardon our voices, and, and you might hear a few coughs and sniffles uh, while we go on this this uh, prolific mm-hmm. uh, podcast journey. Again, I'm your 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 happy, retired, and gray shade host, J.com. <laughs> To the right, I got my man Nell, King, is, B- <laughs> King Bentley in the building. Uh, I want to send a shout out to those that wear the uniform, those that wore the uniform, those that wear the uniform in the future. Shout out to those that hang at the VA all day. Shout out to the United States of Baltimore, Zone, Zone 18. 18. And the rest of the DMV, especially PG County. Um, we got a good set, man. I, matter of fact, I got, I got two openers uh, for y'all. So let's start it with the first one. Won't you motherfucker leave Puffy alone? Leave Diddy alone right now. Brother Love done went through enough. Leave him alone. You gonna took some rock. You gonna took the hole from him. Now you're taking that money. Leave him alone. No, you up in heaven, smiling down. Every night I pray for you. Welcome Every to night the I pray Friends for you. Podcast. Leave him alone. Now since you fans want to go and get everybody, go and get Putin. Know y'all hear what Putin said? Putin said that the people in the Bible was black. Confirmed. Do you hear me? John the Baptist, black. Moses, black. My Lord and Savior, black. That's all I needed to hear. Do you hear me? Somewhere. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, rolling over in their grave right now. <laughs> and this last one I got before we get started. A lot of people ask me how I'm feeling. I'm gonna let you know how I'm feeling. Listen, the way I'm feeling is the same way I want you to walk out of here feeling about your fucking self. Because you know how I'm feeling? I got my fucking head up high, my back straight, I'm 10 fucking toes down and flew on up. And I know that no matter what, it's not a nigga on this earth that can ever fuck with me in my life. And that's how I want you to walk out of here tonight. Let's fucking go! They don't guess they don't guess they don't guess they don't. Woo! Woo! Keep the keep the keep the applause going. Welcome to episode 214 of the Jeff Friend Podcast featuring Nell. How you doing? How you feeling, my guy? I'm cool, man. F- still fighting allergies slash cold and shit, man. Trying to get it together. Ramadan over? Is it Ramadan no, over? I don't know. You still fast? Uh, yeah. yeah, still fast. Shit. I think that shit. When's over? April 9th, I think. Yeah, it's a whole month? Yeah. Oh, no, I ain't participating. I thought it was a week. I can give you a week uh, not drinking and eating during the day, but... What Kyrie doing is he's an alien, brother. Oh, yeah. You, you got you missed it. I had that on the topic because the way he shot that little hook, you knew he was ready to go get some Chipotle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, shout out to Mark Cuban though, cause he got that man a chef. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he cooking whatever he need after. Yeah. You know, after the game, he get to get to do his thing. So mm-hmm. shout out to him. But no, it's uh, it's cool. You know, my first two days was a uh, was killer, cause I'm like, bro, it's time to fucking eat. Yeah. But I've been good, man. I'm. Been going to the gym, not even like, yo, I need something to eat. I be thirsty though. Like yeah. I'm I'm more thirsty than hungry. Yeah. So I've I've gotten over like the, the cravings for the most part. The sugar cravings, like, yo, I need something. But no, nah, I just be like, yo, I want some fucking water. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, uh my week was it was all right, man. Um 
you know, we was working from home. Uh, I just ended up getting sick. I went outside to the park um, Wednesday, and it was a little cold, and I just had like a little zip up. And some say, Jay, put some, sh- put some, put some heavy on, and I didn't. I fucking didn't. And then I had that little scratchy throat like you had the other day when you called me. And you was like, man, the fucking window was up. I had that fan blowing on me. And uh, so I just been pumping um, the Alka Seltzer, the shit you drop in the water and um, <clears throat> and Theraflu. So, but I feel way better though. I normally take meds, cold meds, but like I was like, let me see if I can get through it without taking any medicine. I haven't taken any medicine, but of course, when you go throughout your day, because I'm moving so much that it feels like I'm good, I'm clearing up. But then once but you I'm off work. So you're not giving your body the, those liquids and the vitamin yeah, C I know. too. So that's another reason probably why it's taking forever. To yeah, that shit is lingering. So it's like when I go to bed, that's when I start getting stuffy. And when I get up in the morning, it takes me a while to get going because I'm stuffy as hell. But once I'm up, I'm up. So I'm rolling at there. So. All right. All right. All right. Let's get started. Uh, uh, I got to start a round of applause. Y'all don't remember. Shit. It's, we don't miss any episodes. We had a uh, we had an intern, um, young Nika. Uh, she yeah. intern. Um, she she used her PTO up a lot. She real yeah, quick. real quick <laughs> went on. But um, I want to say and again another congratulations to Nika our intern. Um, we were doing an episode in which Nell was talking about uh, Job Corps programs, mm-hmm. and I guess that kind of lingered in her brain, and um, she got accepted into the Year Up program. So again, man, I want to congratulate her. She she said she's happy and she's thriving. She, she was like, now get a referral check in the mail. Sure. So, and then she said, she sent me a little screenshot. She asked me for your, your real, your real name. She was like on the little thing. They so I guess they look you up or see something in the system or something. Oh, okay. So um, yeah, I mean, yeah, hey, man. check that program out. You know what I mean? I'm always preaching Job Corps. Um, I literally preached it to my daughter yesterday. She called me. She just got a license. She'll be 21 actually uh, a month from today, April 28th. What's the cutoff for Job Corps? 24. Okay. You could so long as you start before twenty four. Mm, you okay. start at twenty four. You got to be like twenty four in a couple of days. You can't be twenty five. You're using a grown ass adult. You should have figured out what you was doing in life before then. Got you. So she want to go. She, she thinking about doing it? Hell no. So she asked me. She was like, <laughs> she just got a license uh, last week and they mailed it to you. So she just got it yesterday. So she called me with a license because she was like, Daddy, I get to drive. Well, okay. So I don't know what she gonna drive, but she <laughs> <laughs> said she get to drive. <laughs> but she was like, I want my CDLs now because she knows. Mm. Her. Her grandmother drives the bus. Um, of course, you know I drive, and my mother she used to drive the bus also. Um, so I was like, "Well, go to job go." And she got phone got quiet for a little second. I'm like, "Well, why go to um, Allstate and spend that money when you do it for free? When you can go to job Corps, you can do it for free, and they're gonna pay you." And they check waiting at the end. And then you know your daddy can take care of the rest and get you a job. Yeah. So. We'll see. I mean, you know, she only had a goddamn license for so was she you, two days. Based off of her uh, her 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 tonality, you felt like she was serious about the CDL. She probably was serious about the CDL. She wasn't serious about job calls. She ain't, I've been <laughs> preaching job calls since she was like sixteen. But she ain't, it's like she ain't trying to hear none that. of that shit. My baby, she loves the city. She's a city baby, just yeah, like yeah. I am. But it's like she can't let go of it. And I've been pushing and pushing and pushing. I only can push so much. I can't make her. Right, well, right. I could have at that time, but I didn't been fighting against her and the mom then. Yeah. But we'll see. She always be talking like, Daddy, you be having money. You have this. Well, I wouldn't have had none of this shit if it wasn't for Job Corps. So. All right. Yep. I did put on here Willie Brown said something about Joseph Sikori yesterday. Um, <laughs> he was talking shit about Tommy from Ghost. I mean, Bob. What are you talking about? I don't know. I forgot. Oh, uh, let me go to. Oh, all right. Here's the first one. First topic. Let's get to it. Uh, Pentagon needs to wake up troops. Wake up <clears throat> on troops like asleep. Um. So now you're a civilian in in a, in. A, I, I must speak on the army. In the army, right? There is a just the the mandatory sleep you got to get is only four hours uninterrupted. Four. And function all day. All day. And you can continue to go and bro, that don't that don't count in the combat environment. That's like in a structure like we send you to a leadership school, right? Like you only require four hours of continuous sleep, nothing else. So um they did they ran they did a report and basically um just regular soldiers at Andrews and um uh Fort Bragg and shit like that. They're averaging like maybe six hours of sleep, and it's 
it's leading to uh, accidents. People can't do their jobs and shit. And I, I uh, this this is like a real thing, right? So they'll say, um, Sergeant Major Darnell Bentley is taking over our battalion, and we're gonna do his change of responsibility ceremony tomorrow at ten, right? So we're gonna do it a few days before that. We're gonna practice the whole shit. Boom, boom, boom. You won't be there. You only come to like when they when they say all right, all right, Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Nell, we we got it. You come out there, you gonna look, and then you gonna you gonna practice your little shit, right? On the day of that shit, let's say that shit at ten. That shit at ten, that mean the first the 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 first sergeant say, yeah, I need y'all there at nine. Then the first sergeant say, I want y'all there at nine. The platoon sergeant say, nah, I need you there at, at eight thirty. The platoon sergeant said, you want you there at eight thirty. Your squad leader say, nah, I need you there at eight. Nigga, and it's kid, it's <laughs> fucking dumb. It's dumb. And on top of that, you worked to about six o'clock yesterday. So then you gotta go home. You gotta fuck with your wife, beat her cheeks, put the kids <laughs> bed, <laughs> the kids to bed, <laughs> get, your, get your uniform ready and shit. And let that let not let you be like the color guard or some shit. You got the, the white gloves on. No, you got to be extra, do all that extra prepping. You got to get up the next day. Help your old lady out. Get the kids out the door. It's, it's a bunch of shit, and they, they not getting a lot of rest. No, four hours is crazy. People. I mean, I'm only working on four hours myself right now. But um, <laughs> it's different for me, and it's crazy. It's weird because I thought about it all day. Like, because I haven't eaten, I thought I would be, like, bogging down. Like, I'm a little tired now. But, like, four hours is OD at a uh, a consistent rate. Like, Hell, yeah. And I've done it. And I know, like, because sometimes I can't turn it off, like, turn my head off. So, um, pause, major. <laughs> yeah. You was not talking like that just two minutes ago. I can't turn my mind off. So, it's like, I'm up watching TV, I'm flicking channels, I'm on the internet. Because even when, I mean, I'm, I'm a guy that I can turn the TV off and just finally doze off to sleep. But sometimes I just be wanting to keep the TV on. Yeah. But then... I'll notice, all right, it's 12 o'clock. Well, I know I need to get up at 4 a.m. because I'm supposed to be at work at 5 a.m. Yeah. And I'll do it consistently. And then by Thursday, Friday, I'm at work. I'm dragging. And it was always I have a meeting. I literally, and I was like, fuck. Literally, was what, my boss was talking to me, and I literally was dozing off. And this, he said, am I that boring now? And I was like, my bad, Jim. Now like he got to know you. They got to know you, cause like. But now they all know. Like I'll go to sleep at the drop of a hat on their ass. <laughs> <laughs> but like it just was me and him having a one on one conversation. I can feel myself dozing, and I'm telling myself, but you're listening like, to him now. Nigga, wake up! But I kept my eyes just getting heavier because <laughs> he's a talker, so he'll say the same thing three different times, or he might say the same fucking thing three fucking times in a row, like. All right, Jim, I got it. Just different ways. But no, the same fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, I get the dozing. I mean, I know Jason, he's going to be watching, so he'll tell you, like, yeah, no. Like, oh, you literally can have a conversation with me, boy. And I'll be bang, gone. Like, yo, I just was talking to you. Yeah, hey, we, bro. You give me that split second where you shut the fuck up, I'm gone. We be mad pod. That boy got that phone. Yep. <laughs> I don't like, drop that phone, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I ain't dropping that phone. <laughs> But no, four hours is OD, man, for anybody. Your body has to get rest to be able to function, to be able to think, critical thinking or anything else. Like, bro, you need rest. And I figure, I, I mean, I don't know the science on it, but I think the body at least needs, I know they say proper, like eight hours. You, know, you at least need six, bro. Yeah, you got to heal. You got. You have to fucking heal. You got to be able to get in that deep sleep. I, I think you're only in the deep sleep, though, for like 30, 40 minutes when your body really gets to heal and you in it. Room four, yeah. Yeah. Other than that, though, like, Bro, you need like six hours. Working on four hours every day or every other day, that shit is not healthy and it's not a good thing. So, I mean, that's... So, are they switching it? So, <clears throat> they just say they're going to do some more research and all of that. Um, so, no. Pretty much. I mean, at, at the end of the day... If you got to do research and they... we Mission comes first. There's a lot of they don't give a research. Fuck. Like, nah. They don't know. give a fuck. FaceTime video. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Bruh, I'm recording. Yeah. I <laughs> you shot me the birds. <laughs> so when you out, say you out, you in Afghanistan, you know, with some how how is the sleep then? Like how do you shit. <laughs> if you get to sleep? On mission or just regular? Mission. You out on a mission? Man, 
I, I, we we was taking um we was taking these um pills called Provigil. I wasn't sleeping for three or four days, so they keep you up. And the times that I didn't go to sleep, you guys, Joe, I find me a little haystack. I buy a bull or a cow. Now pet put my little hay like I'm in Jerusalem, <laughs> like baby <laughs> Jesus. I will go to. I used to wake up and cop sneakers on the phone. And <laughs> we in the middle of a gunfight. You know, buy my little haystack. Man, I'm running my. I had to buy auto set to go. Make sure. <laughs> <laughs> come first. <laughs> yeah. But now, um, omission, man. Shit. Either you, <clears throat> if you blessed to get some some provisional like we was to stay up, are you good or just to do a little sleep sleep uh, rotation. So I mean, it's What's up to your the shit dude. that people take now to focus. Z- uh, Xanax. No, not Xanax. Oh, um, the other one. I know you're talking about. Um, Fuck, I can't think of it because I know every day. in college, so you go lock in. Yeah, lock, and I know they made a big fuss about like Chris Davis taking it. Um, Oreos player, and he was like because he had ADHD, whatever it's called, and he was like he needed to uh, to focus. And a lot of people take that shit. I know that's college classes. That's like so they can lock in. A friend of mine, she said she had something like you want to try it out. I was like mm, Adderall. Adderall. I did a pod on Adderall. I'll tell you what number it was. Oh, all right. But <laughs> is that that shit to keep you up and focused? Man, I mean, because it's supposed to have you like laser sharp, focused, and up. Yes, that was a three hour and 39 minute podcast, and I did most of the talking. Go. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Yeah. No, you 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 hyper focused, though. I do hear a lot of people on the Adderall shit now, though. They like, say hyper focused. I tried it once and said, uh uh. I I'm so nervous of taking shit, bro. Like, so the I. The doc gave be... me a. um. You know how they um they drop the samples off, mm-hmm. so she just like try this one, and it was a Thursday, and I was like, "Fuck it, let's go." And then I had that. I, I was like, Mm-mm. "I wanted to try it out though." One time I tried. No, nah. I ain't the one that got like I'll try anything. No, but I wanted to try that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> next topic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more troops will be eligible for a new allowance under the DOD proposal. Uh, so that this one is some bullshit, right? Um. The new allowance is called BNA, Basic Needs Allowance. And I'm going to read an excerpt um, from this. Uh, the plan is to grow uh, more military families become eligible for the Pentagon's basic need allowance under proposal, including the defense uh, fiscal year 25 budget, right? So let me get to this shit. <laughs> uh, where's the one that fucking, the, the part that pissed me off? Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Um, the whole purpose of this, right, is to basically this shit is to ensure that a, <clears throat> soldiers live below the poverty line. So this is to offset that so they don't have to get SNAP benefits. Help me understand. Our service members are in uniform, training daily. To defend this country against enemies foreign and domestic. And you telling me that we have fam- families on Snap. I've been new this, but this is fucking sickening, dog. Families on Snap. Now, it might be a little pushback, and I can understand why. Because you might see an E4 or E5, and, and Buddy just been with his little hood high school sweetheart, and they got like six or seven kids. Dog. Pull out, my boy. Like, at that point, you know. But I've seen two, a married couple with two kids, just two little kids. They had, Maybe they had went back to back. Man, they on food stamps, man. How? How is this possible? And they keep talking all of this. Basically, the, the basic, uh, uh, what's it called? Band, basic allowance, basic B, B&A, basic needs allowance is an extra $1,000. But, um... It's all these stipulations, combined income with the spouse. And um, when you look at it, it was 5,600 people across the board that against all services that qualify for it. The Army only had 12 active. The Navy had 31. And them nasty ass Air Force niggas was 34. It's 34 people. So you literally looking at 100 people, them 100 people out of 5,600 that qualified to for this program and that's crazy and the thing is is they identified the 5600 
but the fifty six hundred you have to go and apply like it's food stamps in a sense. You should already just get the shit. And that's why what is it? Cut about four episodes back. That sergeant was stealing all that bread because he was he was fix his car. Fix his car. Look, <laughs> yeah, that's why. This is this is this is this is this. this well, no, nasty, not the one man. that fixed his car because that's the one he was telling. He was yeah yeah yeah. Seven secrets to China. Yeah. Nah, I think he was a sergeant. He was oh the way he the BH yeah changing the thing where he lived for the Willie rent. Brown. Yeah yeah. Oh God, here we go. Yo, yo B. Hello. I'm on, I'm live, man. What's good? Yo. <laughs> What's good, big man? <laughs> I was just telling him about um it was a study that came out about the troops and the sleep, and I was telling him about like uh you know you gotta change responsibility and they say it start at ten, the first sergeant wants you there at nine, your first your platoon sergeant wants you there at eight thirty, then your squad leader wants you there at eight, and da, 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 da. but what's good with you? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean that's that's just basic military principles of just trying to get people there on time. Yeah, that's it. Gotcha. That's it. Yo, you definitely should have texted me and been like, "Look here, five. It's th- it's <laughs> Thursday, big dog. <laughs> it's Thursday. Well, yo, I'm gonna, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you with this. Uh oh. Did he know? <laughs> All right, let, let, let that go. <clears throat> let me turn that Bluetooth off, man, because we. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, shout out to Willie Brown, man, for calling me. That was unexpected. That was unexpected. Now, back to this. What, what was somebody now? <laughs> the uh, money you were saying, somebody was talking about the money, or we were moving uh, on? Uh, we was moving on. But, right. I mean. That's fucked up that the troops that, like you said, you defend this country, you go through so much um, for the country and that you are below the poverty line and that's crazy that that's even, I can't even think about that, that that like, yo, I, I qualify for food stamps as a officer that fighting for this country yeah. and that so much money goes in and out of the country, even just now, I mean, I mean, we'll touch on that one soon, but just with uh, Biden saying like, "Oh yeah, we'll give you know Baltimore sixty million to get that the bridge fixed." Which we going to that? Yeah. yeah. Good segue, my boy. Yeah. So I mean, like, if we can just give money that we give money to war. I mean, of course, we understand like the wars and shit like that. Like, we got to supply certain things. So I, I'm starting to understand that one a little bit better. But it's really disheartening to hear that though. Like these troops, because. I didn't. I have the heart for a lot of shit. I have. I talk about going to jail all the time. That'd be. I'd be joking, but <laughs> I'd be, be kind of serious though. But I'd be kind of <laughs> serious. Like I'm going to jail. I'm going to fed. Fuck <laughs> that. But like, much as I would do anything, and those gunshots, like I'm. I really used to be outside, but I never could see myself as an officer and me, and I ain't even gonna lie, like how I thought is like, go out here and go fight the white man war or some shit like that. Like that's just how I thought. Are you not about to get me out here for to go to war about some shit that cause somebody else got mad cause they pissed in their Cheerios and like now we gotta go over here and go shoot up some shit. And I just always felt that I couldn't do it. So I always commend anybody, especially my family members, my cousin Aaron, my little cousin Charles, Jay, Tay, like to be able to go and do it, even if you didn't even go to war. If you just go through fucking basic training, like I look, I don't watch enough Full Metal Jacket that I'm not having this man, <laughs> Private Powell, fucking yelling in my fucking face. Oh so <clears throat> just to hear that these guys get no money, then like, oh yeah, we'll give you an extra thousand dollars if you're eligible for the shit. But I'm still on fucking food stamps. Like it's crazy. Yeah, it's wild, big wild man. Uh, so you talk about the bridge. Uh. What was that? Tuesday morning. Tuesday, yes. Tuesday morning, one thirty a.m. Um, a freight, a freight. Uh, what do you call it? The damn boats, one of them boats that carry all those containers. Mm-hmm. Um, was leaving here, going to Sri Lanka. Um, they had four hundred million pounds of cargo. Um, it lost power, <clears throat> and it it got regained power again, and it, it lost power three times. Uh, they did send out a mayday. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were able to um, halt the traffic 
going across the bridge, but you had workers on the bridge repairing um, potholes. And what I didn't know, and Nell talked about it with, uh, in pre-production, they were on break. Yep. And, and if you live in this area, you understand it's cold. It's still cold at night, mm-hmm. and they on that bridge with a wind. That that hawk ain't playing. So they sitting in the truck, and that um, and that that boat hit that bridge, and it fell like a pile of sticks. So before we even tackle this topic, I want to send prayers, thoughts, oh, yeah. wishes, and positive vibrations to those that died, the people that were affected, and our whole. The whole Baltimore community. Yeah, it was eight people. Yeah. Um, they found two. Found two, and um, six are presumed um, dead. The uh, two that they found yesterday, they were still trapped inside the vehicle. Because, I mean, they was on break. It's cold. There's nothing like they were sitting on the bridge. Because they were working. They didn't have anything to do with the flagging of the cars and the stopping the traffic um, on the bridges. So they just was chilling. Now, I don't know. If they had a radio and knew what was happening, yeah, that's what that's what fucked me up, man. Um, if you can call a mayday and cut the traffic off, you should have pulled them workers back. Oh, a hundred percent. They could have pulled the workers back. Like somebody get on the radio, something. Hey, y'all need to get off the bridge. It's a boat coming. Like I, I, I just don't understand that. I really don't. Yeah, and then I mean, the conspiracy machine was. Rolling, I mean. Don't worry, I got a. Okay. I, I, got, I got a link for us. I mean, they were that shit was rolling in, man. Like, oh, they could have did this. I I know nothing about ships. Um, uh, crazy that I, I'm cool with a guy that actually a merchant marine or something. No, he is. He actually deals with the tugboat. Like, he actually was working behind. They were about to pull the next boat in. From that one. From that one. Whoa. Um. And he always posts himself on the water. And I actually, I mean, crossed that bridge when I was a driver. That was my route. 95% of the time, every single day, I went across that bridge. I was on the go. Every time I crossed that bridge, I go get a sneaky link because you go to, <laughs> out to Essex and shit. <laughs> yeah, like every, because my route was like a huge circle um, around 695. So I always, 95% of the time, took that way over the bridge. I can't swim. And I always <coughs> used to say to myself, like, yo, if something ever happened, like, Yo, I'm, first of all, I'm done for anyway because I'm going straight to the bottom. They shit that shit fifty feet. I'm going straight to the bottom <laughs> to see deep. if it's, it's 50 not feet. that deep. Yeah, it ain't I'm going. I'm going to find out because my black ass is going straight to the <laughs> bottom. Because I can't swim, and I just you know some people they ride when they go across bridges, especially in a truck. Like they'll take their uh, take their seatbelt off and hold the stern. I'm um, hold the uh, door in case something happened. The wind blown. They're jumping out of that bitch. They are not going down with the truck. The, you still going down anyway, so your best bet to survive is stay get, in the car to get out of that truck. No, to stay in the car, then get out the truck. If you f- falling from that that height, dog, you ever jumped off a cliff into the water? I, told it, you, I just told you I can't. Oh, that's it. right. Well, dog, if you hit the water the wrong, way, it's like hitting concrete. Yeah. So your best bet to survive is to hit the water in the truck, then get the fuck out. Hey, when you a trucker, your mind is to get out. <laughs> it ain't to hit the water. I mean, because I know they got the, uh, I've seen it, like, people trying to give you tips on how to get out, like the car's going to go down first and take the headrest out and bang the back window and don't panic. Let's, Has the car going to tilt and all that year for the last little bit. Let's day. see you it fucking does. fall off a bridge or any fucking thing and your kids are in the car and you not panic. Like, shut the fuck up. I don't uh, try not to panic. <laughs> what? All right, so you talked about conspiracy theories, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know this dude is from Baltimore. He uh he weighed in on that. Let's get it. I'm all for a conspiracy theory. I really fucking am. But this Baltimore bridge shit is throwing me through a loop. What the fuck are y'all on, cuz? Like, motherfucker tell me, man, it just buckled over so easily. Oh, what happened? Man, it look like it was made out of sticks, man. Man, that bitch just folded up a little too light. Like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? What you think they hit that bitch with a tugboat? Fam. A fucking cargo ship hit that bitch. And I'm not even finna be the one sitting here saying the government would never do no shit. No, I know they probably would. Might have. But all I'm saying is, it is not too far-fetched to believe that a fucking cargo... You know how big a cargo ship is? If I hit you in your fucking head at two miles an hour with a sock, and then I hit you in your head at two miles an hour with a fucking hammer, 
They change, right? Why? Because of the weight and the force. That's why a heavy motherfucker moving slow can do more damage on a football field than a light motherfucker moving fast. The weight increases the fucking force applied. So when a fucking 400 million pound plus boat hits a fucking piece of concrete and some goddamn steel, moving at at least 10 miles an hour, bitch, it might as well be popsicle sticks. Might as well. As a matter of fact, nah, y'all wrong. Bitch, it might as well have been a paper bridge. That bridge might as well have been built by Diddy. Hell, I would have believed it was a conspiracy if that bitch would have hit the bridge and the bridge stood up. Like, bro, it ain't a hope on the south side of hell that could have saved that damn bridge. And I'm not talking about saving it as it, that something they could have did. Yeah, they could have did something. What I'm saying is, based off the circumstances, I'm all for a conspiracy thing. Uh, yeah, man. He bust that bitch down, boy. Yeah, I mean, to see that, the way that bridge fell, and that was crazy because I was awake um, when it happened. It was one of them I couldn't sleep. I just was up watching watching basketball, and I saw it early on the, on the timeline. I was like, what the fuck? And to see how, to see the boat, and they showing the boat like it's turning, and you see the lights go out. Then it cuts back on, and I guess they were like full power. Either I don't know, trying to go backwards or turn or whatever. But you see the truck go. I mean, you the see boat black going, smoke. Yeah, see all that smoke. So that means that, that that bitch was in full power, trying to do something. Mm -hmm. Power go out again. And then I, once again, I don't know anything about boats, and I didn't talk to my guy who drives a tugboat. And to see, because you had other people I saw in certain comments, like it's other mechanisms to get the boat to turn. still turn without power. I wouldn't know about a tugboat. I don't know. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's that something that's four hundred million pounds of fucking. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he just got that. I mean, goddamn, I've just seen what was the speed with the boat and shit. Like I've seen that you gotta hurry up and turn this and like, bro. I don't think it's like them was, little pirate ship steering wheels where you. That <laughs> shit was like the Titanic. And he's like, oh, they could have dropped the anchor. I know y'all have seen Die Hard and all this shit and think a lot of shit. This movie shit worked, bro. Do you know how many goddamn fucking containers? Is on on this heavy ass ship. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. dropping an anchor at fifty feet wasn't gonna do nothing anyway. And the key bridge, people always hated the key bridge because a lot of people get the key bridge and the bay bridge mixed up. They do, yeah. But the key bridge was the bridge that every bridge sway, but you actually can see the key bridge moving. And they will shut the key bridge down because it's so high in the air and it's dealing with. I mean, you're going across a body of water that no because trucks can. Cross at all. Sometimes it might be even cars. Because it's moving that bad because of the wind. It is wind advisories. They'll shut it down. I've been on bridges. Um, we got one at home called the Skyway Bridge. It's the big pillars, two big pillars, and them yellow poles that come off of it like in a triangle. Mm -hmm. And we had a flat tire one time, and we you had to get out to change it. I'm like fifth, sixth grade, and you could just you could feel the bridge doing like this. Yeah, you can. And I'm like, you Whoa. can always see it. Like everyone always know if you're from Baltimore, you'll know like the key bridge. It sways. So, That's crazy, yo. If it sways during wind, and we don't get crazy wind here, but it does get windy. Wind get the whip in 30, 40 miles an hour. But like, bro, once again, like the like the gentleman said, a fucking cargo ship hit the concrete. Yeah. Don't matter. If they would have hit it on the other side, that shit was going to fold like a tent like it did. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, prayers and wishes, man. Yep. Prayers and wishes. And you had, I mean, the mayor, shout out to the mayor, Mayor Brandon Scott. Like, you really had a guy, like, literally I've seen that. I've asked, seen that. asked this man, well, how long do you think it's, take, it's going to take to get the bridge fixed? Bro, it's people is dead in this water that we need to find. We ain't thinking about how long it's going to take to fix this fucking bridge. Fuck yeah, this bridge. Fuck we need to it. find these, these men. Yeah, yeah, fuck them people. Motherfuckers are weird, bro. Um, Let's go. Your boy Puff. Talk mm. about your boy Puff. Did he do it? Or, mm. I don't know, man. Um, I know when I was talking to you the other day about Diddy, I was like, man, I ain't taking no Diddy slander unless fucking I need concrete proof about Diddy. I mean, I know I joked around with Kells and joked around with like Dwight Howard and shit like that. <laughs> and... um. It's some wild speculations, all this shit about Puff. I've seen some stuff come out today where they was talking about, like, Puff had these sex parties at his house, and he had cameras in each room and um, was using it to actually blackmail 
So celebrities and entertainers and shit like that. So yeah, if y'all been living under a rock, uh, Puff had three homes rated L.A., Miami, and was it New York? I don't know. Was it, was it Florida? Even somewhere. It so was there's three houses. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Miami home had uh, his son Christian and Al B. Shore's son Justin. Is that Justin? Mm-hmm. Whatever his name is. Yeah, I forgot that one. Name. Um. So everybody started hitting me up. And I told people, I said, they ain't coming after Diddy. I said, think about it. When they raided Big Meech, Big Meech who, did, who raided Big Meech? FBI. Fish, fish. When they raided, when they, who ever fucking heard of HSI? I thought it was a TV show. Homeland Security Investigations. When Puff first got accused of all of this shit, out in New York, is where Cassie filed that thing. New York came out and said, we do not have an active investigation for Sean Combs. Now, turn around, they raid his house. Homeland Security Investigations, or whatever the fuck they call it, is not the FBI. So immediately, the Fed, every, anybody know about the feds? I ain't even been to jail. The feds have a 99% conviction rate. They will. They watch you and let you commit crimes. Build that case, because mm-hmm. when they get you, they got you. Mm-hmm. The feds didn't raid Diddy House, so that was like they. I'm like they playing. I was like they playing in my face. They are coming to get Puff. Is up to us. He got one billion, but he been rolling with niggas that got twelve and eighty and a hundred and three hundred billion. He poured. They he poured in them. What happened was, and Uncle Luke said it, this shit all started when he went after that com- that liquor company. They're talking about racial diversity and they, they fucking with him. And he wanted to take them to court. So what happened when you start fucking with people that are way up in that chain? We're going to pow-pow your ass. But in the midst of that pow-powing, oh shit, he got hidden cameras? He got Prince Harry involved? You All these freak parties you throwing? He has shit. I I don't think Puff go if he was if he wasn't gonna go down by himself. And in my personal opinion, and you know you're you're innocent until proven guilty, but you know in the court of law you're you black you guilty until proven innocent. But mm-hmm. Puff a nasty nigga yo. Mm-hmm. He's a nasty nigga, and I, I don't know the extent of some of the shit that he's done. But I don't think is to the extent of some of the shit that he's just a fucking smear campaign. He will be going to jail at some point, and it ain't gonna be no time soon. He got a lot of money, and he got a lot of good lawyers, so they're gonna draw this shit out. How do, how do you raid his home? How they raid your house? All they took was electronics and shit. They didn't arrest nobody, but the drug mule, the white boy, who had the pink cocaine and some weed. They let your son go. They didn't charge you. They let him go. They didn't charge him. Then he sent his, his play. That was a big, that was a, that, listen, if that play actually wasn't like some Dan Marino shit, boy, send that jet out. Mm-hmm. Put Carisha up, best friend on that. This wasn't about Puff. They wanted to get those tapes, those videos. They wanted all of that shit because, I'm, and I'm going to end it with this. I'm going to let Nell talk. When that Jeffrey Epstein list came out, we all thought, oh, shit, they about to get them all. That Liz dropped. What the fuck happened? Nothing. Those who have money, those who have power, and those who are in that upper echelon, past some celebrity bullshit y'all be watching and following on social media, they have power and they are protected. Hence why that Jeffrey Epstein list game is only Jeff who died, and it's that chick, the only ones. Ain't nobody say shit about shit else. Oh yeah, so that shit was like them New England tapes that them recording um things. You ain't get to see nothing that nothing. they recorded. Eh? Nah, that was, it wasn't nothing. Nope, it wasn't nothing. What you, what else you got on this puff shit though? Not the puff shit crazy though. Um, you know, with the child trafficking and it's hard to say like because it's hard to put anything past anyone. You don't know. You know, puff is a freak motherfucker. Facts. Right. And we know all types of shit goes down in parties in Los Angeles. I won't just say just Los Angeles, but you know wild shit happens in Los Angeles. Yep. 
Like, and that's like, what's what's the shit? Oh man, what's the movie we just were telling Donnie about? You know that shit really goes down. Um, what Vanilla Sky? Tom, Vanilla Sky. Like, yeah, yeah. I believe that type shit really goes down. That he Vanilla said the Sky movie shit. was trash. I was like, you tripping though? He ain't like Vanilla Sky. God damn, Donnie. But um, I believe that shit is the truth though when it comes to that Vanilla Sky shit. And um, I believe. I mean, drugs and all that shit. I, I've always said. Did he did he be up all types? I remember he used to be recording three, four in the morning. I know a motherfucker who sniffed coke when I see him. <laughs> I've been around all my life. I know that energy. I know that Chris Brown energy. Oh, Ain't nothing yeah. wrong with a little bit of booger sugar. Yeah, man, a little one and one. That white keep you hype. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's my mic, so I can cough oh, all on all the one. <laughs> but um. <laughs> Everyone know about that shit. Now I ain't know nothing about no mixing the ecstasy with the with the cocaine and you turn Jesus it pink and you, now you got some pink booger sugar. Now that one is different. I ain't never heard. I ain't never heard that one. Yeah. But hey, Puff always talk shit about fucking all night and all like he might was on his Aaron Hall shit. So mm-hmm. hey, that's that's what he need to get to get him right. <laughs> to get him right. Yeah. Um. Hey, if I'm. I don't care if it's Diddy or it's anybody else. Until you really show me some true evidence that like Diddy was doing this, I really don't care about what the internet puts out there. Or his sexual prowess. I don't give a if, fuck. Hey, like, if that's what he's doing, that's what he's doing. Yeah. Now, if that's fucked up, if he was forcing like Cassie to have sex with other people under, you know, like f- forceful, you yeah. know, that's fucked fuck up. Him. Yeah. But other than that, I mean... You you ain't finna tell me he got bust those little kids and then you 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 raid his house and you arrest him and now you don't do nothing like come on though like and I mean showing me videos of we've seen this for years though like it ain't like now all of a sudden like you bring it back up old videos that we've always saw puff with Justin Bieber puff with the little girl who puff said with meat. he had adopted her puff and meat well so why isn't French in this because God damn it French damn sure was with puff for about three years straight. That was like his fucking. That was his new Mister Bentley. Facts, facts. That's now facts. we we know French is a, a a great sniper, but that motherfucker was like he was living in fucking Diddy guest house sure for a minute. Was, but sure was. people don't mention that shit how tight him and him and Puff was. So, eh, we'll see. I mean, we'll see. Hey, I'm not going to go on no smear campaign like fuck Puff this and that. I need to see the real facts because I'm not a. Uh, I don't go off shit social media posts. So. Yeah. All right, man. Um, it got spicy in the streets over the weekend. Y'all heard a little. Y'all heard my opening set. Metro and uh, Future dropped. Uh, we don't trust you. And that song, <laughs> which is my closer, um, like that feature of Kendrick Lamar, hit the streets, and boy is nasty. To that, you say what? Who side you on first? And it's all over a girl. <sighs> October zone. Me too. We we over your baby. We over. I'm with the boy. I'm with the boy. It's um, it's Kendrick. I I don't understand it. I don't understand the move that Kendrick did it. I I can see why Future was sending shots, but they've been sending shots at each other for a minute. This beef is cause a big this out this hot take. This beef is almost bigger than the East Coast West Coast beef. Because you're about to split the rap game up. You got Drake and Ross who have put some of our bet uh what what is it? Um uh Aston Martin music. The well, they got, a whole, they got I mean, a whole they got an album together like all these I hated clips. it when with the Meek beef which made Ross not fuck with Drake anymore because of the, the, his the affiliation yes, yeah so I hated it because they make awesome music so you had people siding now so Ross unfollowed Drake Nav unfollowed Drake now you putting 21 Savage in an odd place because he's shooting at the he's shooting at Cole and and Drake it's this is gonna have ripple effects in the rap game, dog. It's cool. I mean, this is big. It's big. I like it. Um, I do too. But 
I mean, of course, the big three or what they talk about from Cole, Kendrick, Drake, and Kendrick. Yeah. Like, those three sh- shoot at each other all the time, which they should. If you believe you're the best, and all of all, all, all three of those believe that they're the best in, in rapping, I am a... I am not the biggest Kendrick guy. I fucks with Kendrick, but I'm not the biggest Me Kendrick neither. fan. Me neither. Um, but he spit that shit. I ain't, I ain't going boy can rap, but he, he I'm, told, I'm a, he I'm a Drake. Job. Oh no, that 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 verse, oh man. But I'm a, I'm Aubrey Cole and and Kendrick. Kendrick. It would be in that order, but I like. I think Cole raps better. Cole just don't have better beats because Cole do his own beats. He don't be caring about none of that shit. He do his own shit. I just said last week that if Cole drops, I'm hate on Cole, but uh, if Cole drops this album and rapping like he rapped on them last two, I'm gonna might delete this later. He will submit himself as the best rapper of our generation. Oh no, the, the boy, the motherfucker, bad. Yes, but um, I mean Drake out here doing petty shit, shit that I would do when I was buy somebody baby mama to the show, give them the red all, carpet treatment, all that type shit. Um, you know, like and the shirts. <laughs> so, because I think the beef, because everybody was like saying it was future. No, it, it was Metro. He fucked Metro chick. Yeah, like. And then pillow talk. So, like, of course, you are you know the you know futures drop. If young Metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Pow so, pow. I don't care what kind of history that me and you have, Metro is my guy. Went to went to jail for him. So that's how fifty six night came. So I understand people you know, but people they get everything twisted and think, oh future arguing over a girl and he don't even care about his son and like where the fuck did you get that from? They he be, worried they about a looking. chick more than he worried about his son. Once again, where the fuck do you get that from? I hate like I don't know. I hate that people because if it's not on social media, it isn't real. Or it don't exist. Or yeah. it don't exist. So they, they will act like, yo, little future lives with his mom. His mom has a husband who's around 24-7. Just so happened the son is around. So he has the son. So he will be you see one fucking video of 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 Russ being with Little Future and it's like, oh my God, he's the best father ever. But because Future, Future don't post none of his fucking children. Yeah. Nah, nah, you don't see it. It's none of your fucking it. business. Yeah. But up, oh, it ain't on social media, so Future's a bad dad. Like, I hate that shit. Yeah. But um yeah, Drake was out this bitch being petty and then, you know, invited Ross's uh ex VIP. I love it. I love it. And you know, and I, I mean, I understand Ross. Then Ross had the Ross posted the uh, last night Kendrick oh, riding around, riding yeah. around in the wraith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's I, gonna uh, get. Uh, I like it. It's fuck all this happy rap all the time. I mean, some of you motherfuckers need to take shots at one another. Now, out of all of them, I'm gonna always take Ross though. They can't fuck with Fat Boy. I, th- I think. I think. I think Drake can get him. The thing is, is. If all these niggas get on Drake ass, he gonna have a problem. So, and Drake, I ain't trying to hear that you trying to take the high road. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit that with Jay played earlier when he was saying, "What you saying? Fuck that high road. You gonna have to rap, bitch." <laughs> I had to flex bomb for that. Is, no, no, bitch. You can't keep fucking throwing rocks and then hiding your hand. Nah, he, he nah. Okay. So rap, bitch, because you ain't got no. This ain't no Meek Mill. This ain't no Walk in the Park shit. That you that you throwing rocks with now. This ain't no mm-mm. This real these real rappers now. All right. So so rap. Who do you got replying first? Cole or Drake? Cole. Cause Cole with the smoke. I'm I I I think Drake gonna reply first. And I'm gonna tell you why. They're both the methodical writers. But Drake is Drake, <clears throat> he's touring. He's he has he probably got two in the can. He probably already had one, but he's going to reword it. I don't think Jermaine Cole is going to reply. I think Jermaine is going to wait to that album. And he said he said in one of them, I think the second uh, freestyle he dropped, that he's recorded that album three times. I think he's going to go back and put another song on that. I think he's going to address Kendrick on that. I don't, I don't think he's going to waste his time. He's too... He's too nice with that pen. And I really... He, I, like, he want to he wanna sharpen that sword like a samurai. And and dice his ass. Um, so, I mean, they all supposed to keep some. So, but I don't think he's gonna talk. do that in in a matter of seven days. I wouldn't be surprised if Drake dropped something tonight. I mean, he could. But see, 
But we got a Metro album dropping this week. You have to week. wait. It's it's like, album. You can't rush it Mm-mm. because Kendrick verse was so hard that you just can't come out here and put out some motherfucking bullshit. Like you, Meek did. So like Meek did and ain't no just coming through like you're going to put out this one joint and then put out back to back and all. Because what was the first joint that ain't nobody Charged like, up. Charged up. I like Charged up. I like all them shit. I like Charged up. Yeah. But back to back was that was it because it was playing was, in the club and then he got disrespectful like yeah. we was in the same place girls too yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah rapping niggas you got body by a singing nigga <laughs> yo um, I like it I like you like you said I like it for rap and I like it because Big Sean he's back they shit it that's a good they that that stepped on his whole rollout for that that's a good single he put out mm-hmm. that's a fire big, Sean big, is rapping Big Sean is back he's you rapping know, Mr. Off beating himself yeah he rapping so, boy boy so yeah, man, I like this. I like it. I just let it stay on wax, and um, again, just stop fucking the same girls, man. That's yo. I don't understand it. It's so many. We Instagram talk about models. it. Me and Ty talk about that shit <laughs> all the to, time. Shout out to Ty. Yo, it's so much shit that we see from sharing it or see it in the 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 the, the, the search section of all these beautiful women. You can find a new one every day if you wanted to. Why in the fuck are y'all still sharing Bernice's and 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 my Malaya's and all these yes. other women? And you see these other women like, but now I understand though because let's like they've been in the game and understand how to move. Just like uh, I think what Baby shot a shot at a chick and she had a boyfriend or some shit and she had to post it that posted DM because she had a boyfriend. Like, oh look what he he said to me like. And he put it in like vanish mode. She still screenshotted yeah. the shit. Like why? So I now I, I like in a way because it, it's almost like oh my god, it's little baby. Like all right, shut the fuck up. Like you know I don't need I you. Yeah, I no. And they go straight to screenshot and shit because they get starstruck. Like I'm not trying to hear. Oh, I got a man. Just not answer it. You entertained it when you opened it. You could have saw it and saw that blue check and really saw like oh my god, girl is little baby. Then shut the fuck up. We all have gone to that Explorer page and seen somebody that's better than Bernie's, better than, than Drea. Mm-hmm. And you go and you be like, 6,000 followers, mm-hmm. that's it? <laughs> that's it? And fire. Ain't got fire content and photos. And mm-hmm. you be like, untapped talent. Mm-hmm. And y'all too busy chasing the same girls. Mm-hmm. Like, that's how, Lyra, that's how uh, Ross and Lyra end up breaking up because she he found out Meek used to uh, bust her up. Dog, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. And all this beef over a woman. Like, I can't even understand. I mean, they, they saying that he broke up now, but like, I didn't understand the OBJ Kim Kardashian thing. Like, yo, that bitch would be so beneath me. I ain't even, I don't, I don't give a fuck how much money Kim Kardashian has. That bitch would be so beneath me. I don't, I mean, but I know everything about now in this days and this world it's is about brand. your brand. Exactly. That that takes OBJ's brand to another level. So his whole team is like, listen, I'm sure once they maybe he did have let's just say he was uh he was attracted to her. And he probably told the team like, I don't wanna fuck her, that's it. And they're like, You need to keep fucking her because this is a good look for you. And if you fuck you align yourself with her, now you can get X, Y, and D Z deals just because of the look. I'm I'm sure his team told him that. Oh yeah, but I mean and then I mean I mean, because everyone gets to be with everyone so much that it really doesn't matter. But it's just like, yo, you really wanted to hear that? Like, and in the beginning, I just be like, yeah, hell yeah, why, my fucking nigga, Kim gonna get this Ray J? I don't give a fuck. All right, you hit it first, nigga. I hit it fifth. I'm then still in the top five. But like, <laughs> I can wild, I can man. understand, you know, the attraction <laughs> to it. But it's like. <laughs> No, nah, it, you gotta come through the back door of the, of the hotel. I'm I've been there for three days already. You don't even know. Like we gonna make this work. Like I'm gonna be there for three days. <laughs> then you slide in, so I didn't miss all the paparazzi. Yeah, you come in, get them cheeks clapped, and going on about your <laughs> fucking business. But I I don't know. Yeah. These niggas like swapping spit. And yeah, Eskimo brothers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, we gonna skip the police one. Um. All right, yeah, let's go to FanDuel. Um, FanDuel, right. Sports better who turned a $2 parlay into 1500 received an email saying his winners will go to unpaid child support. How do you feel about that? 
That's fucked up. I yeah, man. Uh I mean, I still I understand you got you old child support, cool. And I ain't telling nigga duck off paying it. Because there's many reasons why you couldn't owe child support. And not because you're not paying your bill. So that's why like um I don't like it. If I again, yeah, if it's a payment from the state or the feds, cool. Intercept that. Oh, uh, this is fa- because you actually, if you don't know, if you're not on child support, don't know about child support. You actually start off in the rear. So, whenever that um, the mother goes down the file for <laughs> hey, yo, child wait, support, wait, wait. somebody commented, "It only costs you two dollars, bro. Be grateful." <laughs> Oof. <laughs> no crazy. He got my part. That's true. That's <laughs> hey. That's true. Like hey. Knock that books, knock it down on the books, but you get to count on that bread. Yeah, yeah. But like, if she goes and files a child support, let's say in January, right? When the child was born. And child was born in January, and as soon as she got out the goddamn hospital, she filed. So in January. So let's say you don't get a court case until June. Six June, months. Six months. So they say, okay, well, you have to pay $400 a month. They just gonna, they're gonna backdate you. All the way from January, from the day she filed, they're gonna backdate you. So you going, you are in the rears from January all the way to June. So you'll always be in the rear until you catch up at the end. And I actually had it up, had it with me, kind of sort of like his, but it wasn't on Fanduel. It was actually a bonus. Mm. I had a bonus coming to me at the end of the year, um, right before Christmas, and I already had the calculations on my head what I was buying this and that. So I get my check. I didn't have my bonus on there. So I go to Charlie. Charlie, my bonus not on there. And he was like, oh, well, the new lady that's in accounting, she did something. I guess she like, I don't know, called child support or she did something that she wasn't supposed to do. And it wasn't just me because it was others that was on child support. She went calling people? She did something. Yes. Hell no. And I called corporate and I said, bitch used to be one of my favorite words. It's kind of still there. Still top three. (laughs) Top two. And I called and I said, bitch, about seven times. And Charlie come to me. He was like, no, don't do that again. I was like, no, Charlie, you know my fucking money. He said, no, I can't protect you with HR, son. <laughs> don't ever do that again. <laughs> Hell no. You call so, me a bitch, huh? Yeah, oh, uh, like several. Several. Because why did you do that? Because I'm, I'm in the rear because I start off in the rear. But I can say it helped me because my bonus was so large at the time. It got me out of the rear. So when it was time, when soon as she hit 18, it was like, bung. Like I didn't have, they actually paid me money back because I was too far yeah. ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But cool. yeah, FanDuel, I don't, I hate that FanDuel is doing that. That sucks. All it's going to do is just, it's going to be like, hey, hey, babe, put this bed in for if me. If it's 100% true. If it's, if it's 100% true. Yeah, uh, all you got to do is just, at this point, to, to, to I ain't telling nobody to duck off any child support, but if you owe and you don't want to take your money, circumvent, get somebody to pay the bet for you. Or that, or I can't see how they could just take the money unless you try to take all of the money out your account. So you're going to have to take, I'm not sure how it worked, but it's times I've won a nice amount of money and I've took it out in increments because I really wasn't trying to pay taxes on all that money. So I would take two hundred out, send it to my account, leave it in FanDuel, take another two hundred out. So that's how you get your money out there. Don't it don't win fucking fifteen hundred dollars and then try to take it out because they're going to take their taxes. They're going to that's when you're going to get sent that little piece of paper. That's just like if you win money at the casino. I think you can't can't win over five hundred dollars, or you got to get a tax name. So you so want to. Uh, here's what it says: it "said We are writing to provide you with a notification of the Louisiana Part Department of Family Child Services about the blah, blah, blah. compliance review was completed, and we have." Since lock or oh, unlock your account of uh, whatever uh, you had an open child support debt, we have debited one thousand five hundred seventy eight dollars from your winnings to fulfill your open balance. <clears throat> Any other cash winnings prior to the account suspension will be available for your withdrawal at your discretion. FanDuel does not have any additional details at this time, and therefore, the appropriate some something, some something, something. Please be advised that so yeah, they suspended the dude account and took his bread. I wonder if he posted it in his baby mama when he called him or something. Like he owed money or something. Probably went in that, in that story and was like, yeah, I smacked the ass with 15. She caught down that bitch like, mm-mm. Yeah. yeah. He owe up. Yeah. Uh, we are at an hour, big dog. Um, you heard about Nike? 
about the size changes? Yep, yeah, Nike changing sizes. I, I trash. It uh, let me see. Open it up. It says uh, Nike's changing kid changing up changing up kid sizes, which may increase prices. GS <clears throat> is now one youth through seven, which was previously three and a half through seven. Preschool is now eight C through thirteen, which was ten through three youth. And toddlers is now 2C to 7C, which is previously 2C to 10C. Um, I don't understand that with the current foot market, footwear market, um, but whatever, yo. You got anything on that one before I get these randoms? No, that shit trash. Another way of Nike just stealing fucking more money from us. Trash. I, I mean, they go through it like every every couple years, though. They do the change of it. They yeah. do the change of it, yeah. God, I got one for you, big dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At what age will you stop lying? Even white lies. And I, I for me, it's like 70. At 70, I just ain't going to give a fuck. Hey, babe, how look at this dress? Fat. Fuck out of here. Like, I just ain't going to give. I'm just not giving a fuck. I'm just telling the unadulterated truth. I ain't sparing no feelings. But at what age? Never. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna keep it going? You got to. It's nah, life. I'm 70. I'll, I'm fucking. I know when you get older, you get un- 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 unapologetic. Yeah. You just say off the cuff without what's on your mind. But no, you gonna keep it going to the grave all the way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, here's another one for you. So some of all right, some of our believers in Jesus Christ, pardon me, but when you get to heaven, mm-hmm. you gonna be you still gonna be fucking. In heaven? I know, them cloud beds. I'm, I'm trying to clap cheeks in heaven. I ain't going to hold you, dog. I'm fucking in heaven. If I make it there, we celebrating. You celebrating? All the time. No celibacy? Celebration? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm hooping and fucking. <laughs> hooping and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> now that's... A- <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, what's the other one? Um... Oh. Is $75 enough to take somebody on a date? 75 Hell yeah. Where you going? Um, Let me see. Should we go to a bunch of places? Cheesecake Factory? I forgot, you know. 75 She must ain't getting no alcohol. She must drink drinking strawberry lemonade. No, you let her do her thing and you, you, know I mean? you play the background. The water? No, two... Now you cannot. Shit, me and three Darnell, me and little Donnell just did it. What she had? No, three lemon drops. You you in the hole, dog? No, nah, you let her do her thing. Like I'm, I'm fasting, baby, so I'm not even drinking alcohol right now. I'm just drinking water. <laughs> oh, <no>. Yes, sir. <laughs> nah, baby, go ahead. No, I'm a, cause what Darnell get? Darnell just got some quesadillas. I was like, that's all you want, Darnell? She was like, yeah. Okay. Like fourteen hours. Yeah, so you get you a Caesar salad and some fucking water, whatever she want. Another one of those lemon drops. Thank you. Yo, what the fuck is up with this lemon drop craze, though? I see this shit everywhere. Like, I don't know but about it. But, like, I see, like, women post so much about, like, lemon drops. Like, that's what that's the new thing now is fucking lemon drops. Uh, I see more women ordering old fashions also, too, though. The old fashioned is the wave, but I, what? let me see what's in the Old fashions in Manhattans. It's just simple syrup, fresh lemon juice, and vodka. I don't understand what the fuck. It's, yeah, it's just, I don't know, dog, but... Yo, listen. This is episode 214. What, yeah, 214. 214. Oh, 214. I hope y'all had a good fucking time because I damn sure did. This is our flu game. I don't know what we call We might call this hooping and falking. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, closing thoughts, big dog. What you got? Man, I had a. Well, I, I did have a good closing thought. What you got? Um, no, I'm saying I, I think I don't think I had one, a good one, but I have had one a couple of them in the past now. I think about it. Um. I don't think I have one today. I don't. Um, I don't know, man. It's fucking. Hey, it's spring break. Kids. So uh, I guess I don't know. Do something with them goddamn badass kids. <laughs> I know they about to eat y'all up out of the house and home. Darnell already even called me like two times. You know what? I gotta send Darnell some money because she said, "Daddy, I need some. Ro- I need some Roblox money." So <laughs> I gotta send Shorty some money, and I told her I was gonna send it today. So. Um, Spring break, 
Kids about to get fresh. When is Easter Sunday? Yeah, Easter Sunday. Good Friday. You got, you got plans? You got pl- yeah, it's, that's a holiday, ain't it? You, shit, I got work. No. That shit ain't no holiday over here. That's Fourth of July, Independence. That shit is. I mean, uh, Memorial Day. That's the only holidays. I'm yeah, getting, Easter uh, Sunday, baby. Easter, Easter Sunday. Sunday. I want to see them outfits. Tag JFP something. I want to see. I need to see these Easter outfits. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. You know, before you even closing thoughts, like yo, I remember like yo, Easter was definitely a. So get fresh time. Yeah, I was definitely getting fresh. And like, so Mama Nell was, you know, a single parent, three kids, me and my two sisters, Jesse and Jalisa. And like, I'm at, at times, because my mother, how she was working, I only had God, maybe one, two pair of sneakers. And I had this big ass foot, 13, since I was fucking like 10 years old. Yeah. I was fucking 13. So, but when Easter got, came around, Mama Nell made sure that I was always fresh. And I always had. <laughs> Fresh Jays, some fresh Air Force Ones. But I remember that that Easter boy. I had them motherfucking flu games came out. Got the black the black uh, guest jeans and the red RP fifty five shirt. <laughs> 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 you, my and my whole hood. We had we for Easter. Everybody had the motherfucking flu games, and we went downtown, huh. took them pictures, chasing girls. Pen, pen and pads back then, son. We ain't had no fucking cell phones. Yes, sir. Write that number on that right. napkin, baby. Yep, something on my hand. Mm-hmm. Something. But no, nah, man, I remember getting Easter fresh, going to church early as shit. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't wait to get fresh. I couldn't wait. My mom, my grandma, she always made sure that I had suits. So whole time, I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I'm young. I'm not paying attention to this service. I can't wait to get out of this shit because I'm going to get fresh. Yes, that sir. Was, boy. And that's so, a hell of a closing thought, man. Yeah, yeah. Easter Bring us man. Down that Easter lane, memory lane. Yeah, man. enjoy yeah. yourself. Remember, man, it's all about God too. Sometimes it is. Yeah. So, um, my closing thought is, uh, oh man, I had it too. Let me pull my thing. <laughs> um, discipline turns dreams into reality. Whether you want to start a business, lose weight, uh, just get healthy, be disciplined. Make small, realistic goals. And as you, I told y'all about stacking days. So when you want to, the goal is to lose 10 pounds. So let's start with a half a pound a week and continue to stack and stack and stack and build momentum. And again, discipline turns dreams into reality. Mm -hmm. So on that note, this is JFP episode 214. I want to send a shout out to those that wear uniform, those that wear uniform, those that wear uniform, the future shot, those that hang the VA all day shot in the United States of Baltimore. Zone Zone 18. 18. And the rest of the DMV, man, listen, this is our flu game, but fuck it. We bought y'all content. Um, I'm closing out the pod like this. Welcome to the Jam Friends Podcast.